Hi everyone. Only me. I have just dyed my hair and apart from the scalp being a different colour, I didn't think I did too bad. I use the Garnier Nutrice Cream in the colour Dark Cherry at the moment. I have to dye my own hair because, which you might not see from this video, but I have exceedingly thick hair. And what tends to happen is, is that I can't get a hairdresser to do my hair for love nor money. I've tried years and years. Um, what I have to do is I dye my own hair and then maybe once a year I'll speak to a hairdresser that I know and try and get them to basically cut my hair. Apart from that, I generally dye my own. I think my hair brings the fear of God in quite a lot of people. So I thought we can talk about hair today because I watched a video recently and it was Brad Mundo, who I adore, and he was testing out something. So with my hair being very thick, I have to dry it, but I can't really do all the bits with one hand and then hold the hairdryer with the other. So what I tend to do is I do the mad dash and I dry my hair in one full go. Obviously just to let you know I was putting a bit of Wonder Balm in my hair, Percy and Reed, the only product I rate of theirs. Anyway, um, so I do the mad, you know, hair dry thing, put the product in my hair and then just dry it really quickly and then go in about it with my hair straighteners, which I would show you, but they're missing here somewhere. But the drying process takes so long. Absolutely ages, and I hate it. As you can tell, my hair's actually really tuggy today. Always is like this after a hair dye. Anyway, Brad Mundo was doing a review on this. Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Um, and it basically cuts out using a brush and as my mother went and a hair dryer at the same time because it's an all in one. I have no idea how this is going to go, but if it cuts down the process of me straightening my hair, I'm down for it. I really am down for it. So here it is. Here, I managed to pick it up on. Amazon for £50. It just came in that box, that was it, with a bit of cardboard to protect the top bit. Um, it's pretty big, it's I mean, it's nearly the size of my face. Um, I don't know, and it feels heavy here obviously, but the controls are just at the bottom here. here. Now I was reading reviews about it and some people said it blew up in them. Um, please don't, that's all I'm saying. I've had to throw uh, something out the back before. What was that again that started burning? I think it was a toaster one year and it just kind of blew up in my head. I just went up and threw it out the back. Anyway, <laughs> total random story there. But I'm going to give this a shot and let's see how it goes. I'm going to section it. And I'll just give you a quick review of this and then I'll come back and show you how I got on with it. Excuse the absolute state of me. And that's still a bit too chunky. Let's see. Really look at this. Look at all that hair. I was bullied really badly when I was younger for this hair. And you see now I've got people coming up to me going, is that all your real hair? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, sadly. It takes me two hours to dry it and straighten it. It's one of those nights where I have to make sure I've had a good night's sleep the morning before because if not I will not do my hair. I don't care how greasy or messy it looks because I know how long it's going to take but it takes a long time. <laughs> and I, I love my hair. My eyes and my hair are pretty not bad. Anyway, shall we give this a go? Now. Ooh. It's not too noisy actually, in fairness. That's 
not too bad. I just have to slow the pace down a little bit so that I can get to all the bits. The last time I done my hair, I have to wash my hair about once, maybe twice a week because of how thick my hair is. But I had to dry it three times because there's still wet patches. And what tends to happen is that if I don't dry my hair properly when I go to straighten it, straighten it, shall I say, um, it kinks and then it has a kink in it for the rest of the time and it just drives me nuts. I wish it was hotter. I really do wish it was a little bit hotter. But, yeah, I mean, not too bad for someone with thick hair. The only thing is, I feel it's not getting into my roots enough. Excuse me a second. It's hotting up now. It's the first time I've used it in fairness, so it could be that. Right, this is going to be a very long process still, so I think what we'll do is I'll dry my hair and I'll come back to you and I'll let you know how I got on with it. Um, so far, not too bad, but the whole point of buying something like this is so it makes the whole process quicker. Um, I think if it was one-sided it wouldn't be so bad. Anyway, I'll come back. I'll let you know how I get on. See you shortly. Bye. I'm not even kidding. That has been brilliant. My hair is so soft. Normally when I hair dry it, it's like crunchy feeling and it's not nice. Um, that's why I use a Wonder Balm, just to kind of give it a little bit of softness, but my wow, hair feels really soft. Don't get me wrong, it was actually, the wires, uh, I think it's 2.5 metre long, and they say it's a professional swirl cord. It drove me nuts. It kept twisting and curling, and I was going like and I was smacked with the wire because it's curled up. But that's just something that happens because it's brand new. Hopefully once it stretches out a little bit, it'll be fine. But I can't believe that. That's literally, I've done my hair in 20 minutes. That's been pretty spectacular. Well, see, the only thing is, is that I don't feel my roots are completely dry, dry. But all I did was, once I had the rest of my hair done, I just kind of went through it like this. It hurts your hands as well because it is a heavy, it is quite heavy to be fair on the base of it, the bottom of it. This bit here is where the motor is. But you tend to hold it like this and your hand cramps up so you swirl it around just to get there. I actually wish it went a little bit hotter. This is me nitpicking. I do wish it went a little bit hotter. But yeah, you just put it through the hair like this. Um, there's three settings, a cold setting, one and two setting. I've done it in a two, so this is how noisy it is. Just like a normal hair, straight, uh, hair dryer. But yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I think I'll get better at it as time goes on. I separated my hair, but eventually I got to about this side here and then kind of gave up about halfway through. But, wow, Brad Mundo isn't wrong. That's really quite good. You can hold this bit even when it's absolutely roasting. I've used it for about 20 minutes, so it's a bit warm, but you can still hold that. Um, excuse the hair. But yeah, and it's not only that. You see now, straightening my hair should actually take about 10 minutes. I've literally cut my hair drying routine from about an hour and a half down to about 30 minutes. That's not bad. 
That's really not bad. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that, folks. Um, as I said, it's still not completely bone dry, though I don't ever think that phrase is ever a good phrase. Bone dry. Bone isn't dry. Anyway, um, it's so shiny, look at that. I do love it once the hair is done. But it feels good. It feels really good. Quite pleased with that. That's been a good buy. Um, if, if, if it breaks down or anything happens, I'll get back to you, but that's not bad at all. If you're like me and you're thick, thick bum and thick hair, I'd get this. I really do. I think that's quite impressive. I can't get over that. I have dealt with thick hair my whole entire life. And generally, when gimmicks come around, I just think, oh great, okay, I'll try it, but... And then I end up feeling like I've wasted money. This doesn't feel like I've wasted money. This feels good. Anyway, I'm just going to go and feel my hair for about 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe and comment. Because I do love hearing from you. And until the next video, take care. Bye.